Hi there, my name is Haley Friedman with Growth Marketing Pro and today I'm going to show you how to set up your email account after you bought a website through Bluehost or you may have gotten your domain through Bluehost or GoDaddy or wherever but you're hosting your website with Bluehost and now you want to be able to send an emails um, or create an email address that has the same domain as your website. So for example, I would want to be able to send emails from Haley at growthmarketingpro.com. So um, if you have a Bluehost account like I do, you um, this is the, the main homepage and you, you want an email address. So you go right over here to email and from here you would click create an email address. So I've already created two, one for myself and one for my colleague, Mark. Um, so that that is here. You just click create and add an email account. And so you click the domain you want to set up the email account with. You enter the beginning of the name here. You know, so Haley, I've already done this for myself. But if you were just starting from scratch, you give yourself um, a password and you would give yourself, um, your, you have to select a default web client. So I, I've been choosing Roundcube. I don't think it really matters. They're, they're kind of all similar. Um, I've been choosing that one. Um, mailbox storage says 250 as the default. Um, I actually just started running out of space in my Roundcube account. I'm pretty sure I clicked the default. So I would click unlimited. Uh, mailbox size if I were you. I'm going to go back and switch that for mine too. So and then you just click create and then it creates uh, an, an email account for you here. So if you want to go view the inbox, I'm going to I'm going to click on mark. So once you click on inbox and you want to view the actual inbox, Bluehost takes you back here um, to this page where you would have to actually log in with the email and the password that you just created. So I'm going to log in and check out Mark's inbox, so don't tell him. <laughs> so um, for Mark, we set Roundcube as the default. So why does it take me up? Oh, just click on Roundcube, sorry. <laughs> so just click on Roundcube, and here I am. Now I'm in Mark's inbox. And so it's kind of as simple as that, but Mark at growthmarketingpro.com, he's not going to get emails from, from this email address into his Gmail account unless we set up a forwarding situation. So I'm going to forward all emails that come here to his Gmail account. That way, he doesn't have to come to Roundcube to read his emails every time. He can just get these emails sent straight to his Gmail with all of his other emails, and he can answer them from Gmail and that's going to be easier for him. So, if um so it's not in settings, sorry. If I click on marketgrowthmarketingpro.com and I go down to forwarders, I can actually set up a forwarding situation. So, I click add forwarder and I would just type in the email address I wanted to forward to, which is his Gmail address. So, I already did that. So I'm going to go back, and as you can see down here, it says email address. Um, it's going to forward to his Gmail. Great. So that's set up. So now anytime he gets an email to this new email address, it goes straight to his Gmail. However, if he wants to send emails from his Gmail account, and he wants to send them from growthmarketingpro.com, there's one more thing he has to do. So since Mark's being lazy, I'm just going to set this up for him. Um, I'm going to go into his Gmail account and add this new email, mark at growthmarketingpro.com, to his Gmail account so that he can send emails from there to other people. So right now, um, okay, so now I'm going to set it up so that Mark can send emails from his new email account from, from inside, right from inside his Gmail account. So. I'm going to go over here to this little icon settings and then I'm going to click settings and then I'm going to go over to this tab called accounts and import and I'm going to go right here to add another email address and it's going to pop up this little yellow window here and then I'm going to add 
leave his name as is and add his new email address, mark at growthmarketingpro.com and click next step. So when we get to this part, we're going to leave the SMTP server as mail.growthmarketingpro.com. The username is going to just be the new email address and the password will just be the new password that I set up previously. I'm going to leave this um, secured connection using TLS. I'm going to leave the port as is and click add account. And voila, so congratulations, we successfully located your other server and verified your credentials, just one more step. We just need to confirm. So they just sent me an email or they just sent Mark an email um, to confirm and you can either click on the link in the email or enter the verification code, doesn't really matter, either way works. Let's see if Mark got the email, let's go to his inbox. Uh, let's show his inbox and here we go an email from the Google team and I'm just going to click right on that link thing to confirm. Click confirm. So now I can actually send email or Mark can send email from mark at growthmarketingpro.com. Let's try it. So if we compose an email, now there's the option. There should be the option. Let's try refreshing. Reload. Let's try compose. There we go. Marketgrowthmarketingpro.com, and now we can send an email. So oh, that, that's it. It's really as easy as that. Um, hope that was helpful. Talk to you guys later.